There's no place like home. These palatial mansions were once the height of glamour and sophistication, but now they're shells of their former selves. Whether their owners fell from grace or the money simply ran out, these mega mansions now need some serious TLC. The only problem is that nobody will touch these mansions with a barge pole. From the largest log cabin in the world to the stone castle that became an infamous asylum. These are the 15 famous mansions no one wants to buy for any price. But now, the entire building is for the community, as Living Word welcomes dozens of guests each week. This epic mansion is not only the biggest log cabin in the United States, but possibly the biggest in the entire world. This place is seriously huge, yet this massive hunting estate is no ordinary log cabin. Gran Ole Loma was built in 1923 and is listed in the Register of Historic Places in the U.S. It sits across 5,000 acres of river, lake shore, forest, and farmland in Michigan and is the most expensive residence in the entire state. However, for some reason, no one wants to buy it. It was originally put up for sale with a price tag of $40 million, however the listing was slashed to half that price at $19.5 million in a desperate bid to find a buyer. But that's not to say people aren't window shopping. Yeah, this Regal Law Cabin is actually the most viewed listing in the United States according to Realtor.com. With 50 rooms, a barn, apple orchard, wine cellar, vault, and private marina, you'd think that some mega wealthy buyer would snap this place up. Not even the 18th fireplace made from a shipwreck at a 3,000 gallon hot tub can seal the deal. Well, we can't please everyone, can you? Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Al Capone's South Florida Mansion This unusual South Florida mansion is actually one of the most famous houses in American history. That's because it once belonged to the notorious U.S. gangster Al Capone. He purchased this sprawling Miami Beach mansion for $40,000 and unsurprisingly his neighbors did not welcome him with open arms. In fact, the city of Miami actually sued him when he arrived, claiming that his new home was a menace to the safety and well-being of residents. Let's face it, no one wants to live next door to a hardened criminal. This huge mansion had three houses in total, including the main villa, the gatehouse and a poolside cabana. Capone turned this beautiful estate into his own private fortress, installing concrete walls and giant heavy doors. It's even believed that he planned his infamous St. Valentine's Day massacre from the safety of this address, later using proof he was in his Miami mansion as an alibi. In 2018, the colorful property was put on the market, but realtors had to shave millions of dollars off the asking price just to find a buyer. Yeah, it's safe to say this house probably has some seriously bad juju. <laughs> Linwood Hall This stately home in Philadelphia once belonged to one of the richest Americans in history, Peter Arell Brown Widener. It was built all the way back in 1897, spread across a giant 480 acres. This business tycoon and fine art collector had the massive mansion built to reflect his impeccable taste and passion for design. However, in the last 100 years, this house has fallen into a state of total disrepair. In its heyday, Linwood Hall had 110 rooms, including 55 bedrooms and a whopping 20 bathrooms, as well as a ballroom that could host a thousand guests. There was even an entire art gallery in the mansion. Linwood Hall required 37 staff members to keep things running smoothly and a mind-blowing 60 gardeners just to take care of the grounds. So why has it been abandoned today? Well, when Peter died, the house should have been left to his son George. However, tragedy befell George's family when they were returning from a vacation in Europe. Yet the Wideners were actually on the Titanic, hosting luxurious dinner parties for the wealthy guests and the captain when the famous ship struck an iceberg. George and his family did not survive the crash and Linwood Hall was left totally abandoned. Can you see yourself saving this ginormous stately home? Well, if you've got to spare $11 million, this massive property could be yours. <laughs> Lennox Castle This creepy castle in the north of Glasgow, Scotland has an extremely spooky history. This now abandoned building was built in the 1830s, however it was converted into a mental hospital in the early 20th century. Lennox Castle Hospital was a state-of-the-art medical facility when it first opened and the largest of its kind in all of the UK. It could accommodate 1,200 patients and had the best equipment in the entire country. However, this sinister stone castle was anything but a comforting space. 
Rumors swirled of poor treatment and abuse of the patients at the hospital, and in 1989, the British Medical Journal reported that a quarter of the patients at Lennox Castle were dangerously underweight and malnourished. Anyone who tried to run away from the facility would be caught and kept in isolation for weeks on end, and former patients have reported being dished out cruel punishments for the slightest missteps. Finally, the castle doors were shut in 2002, and the place has been abandoned ever since. Only the bravest of urban explorers would dare to set foot in this old haunted asylum. You need nerves of steel to enter the ruins of Lennox Castle. <laughs> Mike Tyson's Abandoned Mansion Mike Tyson's phenomenal Ohio mansion is exactly the kind of place you would imagine a heavyweight boxing champion of the world to live. You just know that this famous mansion is bound to be larger than life. What else would you expect from this flashy athlete? This enormous 60-acre estate was home to a full-size pool, a basketball court, jacuzzis, gold-plated fixtures and fittings and chandeliers in every room. Oh yeah, and don't forget the tiger cages. Tiger was forced to give up the epic mansion in 1992 when he was sentenced to jail time, selling the fancy home for a whopping $700,000 profit. However, the entrepreneur who bought the mansion was later sent to prison himself for money laundering, leaving the mega mansion abandoned. After remaining empty for some time, this grandiose palace was purchased by a new buyer who donated the entire estate to the Living World Sanctuary Church. Yet this mansion went from being a blinged out bachelor pad to a place of worship. The tiger cages were dismantled and turned into a pavilion. The massive garage was transformed into classrooms and a nursery. And there's even a chapel. The Lord really does work in mysterious ways. <laughs> Villa de Vecchi in the mountains of Cordonova in northern Italy, there's a spooky abandoned house that hides many secrets. Villa de Vecchi was the summer house of Count Felix de Vecchi, a war hero, an explorer, and member of the National Guard. Local legend claims that the Count returned home from battle one day to find his wife murdered and his daughter missing, leading him to take his own life one year later. Also known as the Red House or the Ghost House, this majestic mansion was bought by wealthy aristocrats However, they mysteriously abandoned the property in the 1960s. It was said that this dilapidated manor house was then used for sinister rituals, with occultists channeling the bad energy within the mansion for their own personal gain. Even a notorious occult leader, Crowley, has spent the night inside this creepy villa. Some people even say you can hear the grand piano being played in the dead of night. But weirdly enough, when a severe avalanche flattened many houses in Cordonova in 2002, Villa de Vecchi was the only one to remain untouched. Wow, you know this place is cursed when even Mother Nature won't mess with it. Neverland Ranch Michael Jackson's infamous Neverland Ranch comes complete with fun fair rides, statues of Peter Pan, plus a cinema and dance studio. However, thanks to the late superstar's fall from grace, realtors struggled to sell this abandoned 1,600-acre estate. It was built on the market back in 2016 for an original asking price of $100 million, but it seems that no one was willing to live in the former home of the disgraced pop star. This mansion slash theme park was eventually sold for just $22 million, a quarter of the asking price. Rumor has it that in his final years, even Jackson himself didn't want to live in the mansion, as local sheriffs had ransacked the place in search of evidence. There's no doubt about it, this abandoned fairground is one of a kind. We wonder what will become of the mysterious Neverland now that it has a new billionaire owner. <laughs> the Haunting of Hookend This haunted recording studio contains many buried secrets, and we're not just talking about limited edition vinyls. This 16th century house in the English countryside was once the home of Pink Floyd guitarist David Gilmour, but now it seems to have fallen into a state of disrepair. Urban explorers captured mysterious footage of the abandoned recording studios, including a pool table that's been forgotten about mid-game and a dining room table that's set for a 10-person dinner. Hmm, very spooky. The most creepy discovery, though, was down in the basement. A gravestone from 1909 was found in the cellar, and it appears to be engraved with the name of a young boy. Yeah, if you go to the hook-end recording studios, you might just end up recording a ghost. This place gives us the creeps. Would you go around exploring a place like this? Let us know in the comment section below. <laughs> Mohammed Hadid's Illegal Mega Mansion 
Los Angeles billionaire Muhammad Hadid is probably most famous these days for being the father of top supermodels Gigi and Bella Hadid, but he's also infamous in California for a supposedly illegal mega mansion. Yeah, this gigantic property was even investigated by the FBI. The enormous luxury mansion was more than twice the size of its original plans, standing at 70 to 80 feet tall and over 30,000 square feet, when it was only supposed to be 36 feet high spanning 1,400 square feet. Two colossal concrete levels were believed to have been built illegally underneath the pool deck, leading neighbors to complain that Mohammed Hadid's construction project was a gigantic monstrosity and a danger to the community. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. Hadid was told by officials that he must reduce the size of the mansion or demolish it within the next three years or face jail time. However, he did neither of those things. Well, you know what they say, there's no place like home. The Devil's Palace Deep in the heart of East Sussex, England, there's a gigantic mansion with 100 acres of sprawling grounds. However, this peculiar property seems to be abandoned. Yet when construction began on Hamilton Palace over 30 years ago, it was rumored to become the largest private house built in the UK for over a century. But all did not go to plan. When the mansion was left to deteriorate, the locals began complaining that this 40 million pound ghost mansion was starting to rot, with damp seeping into the building and weeds taking over the property. It's still surrounded by creaky scaffolding, and this mega mansion may only be a couple of decades old, but it still gives us some serious haunted vibes. Ha Ha Tonka Mansion These castle ruins can be found in a state park in Missouri, and all that remains of a grand mansion that was destroyed by a fire in 1942. The Ha Ha Tonka Mansion, which is said to translate to Laughing Waters, was owned by a wealthy Kansas businessman who dreamed of building his very own European-style castle. This extravagant estate spans 5,000 acres of land and even comes with a private lake. Robert Snyder spared no expense when it came to his fairy tale home and actually imported stonemasons all the way from Europe to work on his castle. Tragically, Snyder died before the house was completed and was killed in one of America's first ever car accidents. His sons carried on building the epic mansion in their father's honor, finally completing the house in 1920. However, the family money soon ran out due to land rights lawsuits and the property was sadly abandoned. The unlucky Ha Ha Tonka Mansion was bought by new owners and turned into a hotel. But in 1942, tragedy struck again, and the entire building was destroyed in a fiery blaze. Now that's what we call bad luck. The Manelli Mansion This 5,800 square foot mansion is located on Crescent Drive in Beverly Hills and was designed by the famous architect John Elgin Wolf back in 1925. Liza Minnelli's father, Vincent Minnelli, moved into this gigantic mansion following his divorce from Hollywood star Judy Garland, who was most famous for playing Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. This 19-room mansion has six bedrooms, six bathrooms, and multiple living rooms and dining rooms, but today it remains abandoned in one of the most desirable neighborhoods in the United States. Urban explorers have ventured into this famous mansion in hope of finding treasures from the golden age of Hollywood only to find retro junk such as AOL CD-ROMs and other defunct relics of the past. It's crazy to think that the ultra-glamorous Liza Minnelli actually grew up in this very house. If only we could see what it looked like back in the good old days. <laughs> abandoned North London Estate We've all driven past a creepy abandoned house before, but how many of us have actually dared to step inside? When urban explorer Colin Smith found this derelict house on the outskirts of North London, he had to go inside and take a peek. Most people would catch a glimpse at the overgrown jungle of a driveway and run for their lives, but not Colin. Inside this forgotten mansion, he found high ceilings, servants' quarters, and a bell system that could be used to summon staff. There was also an old grand piano and newspapers dating all the way back to 1954, the last time that anyone actually lived there. Spookily, there was still a pair of dusty glass left on the armchair, as if the owner was just about to return. There were even some seriously out-of-date tins of food. Would you be fearless enough to step foot in an ancient mansion like the North London Estate? Let us know in the comments section below. Pablo Escobar's Miami Beach Mansion This giant mansion was owned by none other than the notorious Pablo Escobar. Yeah, this infamous Colombian trafficker once lived in a bright pink Miami Beach mansion. Some sources even claim it may have once been used as a hideout for his criminal associates. There's a whole lot of history on this estate, and not the good kind. 
The U.S. government seized the property from Escobar in 1987, and it remained abandoned for several years. The owner of Chicken Kitchen bought this Miami mansion in 2014 for $9.65 million and promptly demolished the entire property to make way for a more modern home. We guess he didn't want to hang out in this former gangster hideaway. We can't say that we blame him. We're sure that clearing out this famous mansion would have resulted in a very interesting yard sale, indeed. Mudhouse Mansion This creepy old mansion in Ohio was built all the way back in the 1840s, and as you can imagine, there were plenty of rumors that this spooky manor house was seriously haunted. Come on, just look at this place. Located in Fairfield County on the outskirts of the city of Lancaster, the seven-bedroom mud house mansion was purchased by the Mast family in 1919 and has been passed down from generation to generation ever since. However, this once grand house is said to have a violent history. In fact, many local people swear that the mud house mansion was the original home of the legendary Bloody Mary herself. The house's haunted reputation drew many visitors to the property so many that Jean Mast had to sit on the porch and guard her home with a gun on a daily basis. Sick of putting up with trespassers, the family decided to demolish their ancestral home, finally putting an end to Bloody Mary's curse once and for all. The Mud House Mansion may no longer be standing, but it's left behind a legacy that will last a lifetime. Everybody loves a fixer-upper. Which one of these famous mega mansions would you most like to own? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.